Mr. Glass. Hey, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Grandmaster, back at you for another video. And in this one, we're gonna be unboxing and I'm gonna show you how to install the scoping stack. I've been thinking about the scoping stack for a while now, and I've been on the fence. And when I saw HeadyLove.com had these available and in the color I wanted, I went ahead and snapped on it and got the upgrade. I can't say enough good things about the Blazers. I've gone through at least 12, maybe more torches throughout my life, and I've had this one for almost two years. Can't say that about any other torch. Big fan of any of the accessories that they sell and add-ons that you can do, especially on something that you use every day and you value. Like I have the nozzle official blazer guard on it, as well as I kept the the as well as I kept the safety for it. So when you travel, it doesn't actually get turned on. Turn. Doesn't get turned. Uh, so it doesn't actually get turned on. So I think that's a really cool feature. As well as I do have a couple sleeves and things like that that go over it just because I use this torch every day and I, I like a different feel than the brushed aluminum metal, which is a cool feel, but after a while sometimes you like a different texture. And that's kind of where I've gotten with the scoping stack. I kind of want a different look and feel with the whole thing, so I think I'm going to give it a nice upgrade. As well, Hetty Love included a few stickers and a magnet from scoping stack, so I thought that was a pretty cool add-on. They also let me know that scoping stack is working on knobs for the blazers, so I'm going to definitely have to keep an eye out for that one that comes in. And one more thing before we get started on this unboxing and install, I'll let you guys know that while I was at Hetty Love, I was actually locking down probably one of the bigger investments and art pieces I've ever bought in my life. So I'm not going to say much more than that because I'm going to wait till uh, everybody else can see it as well. I'm not going to spoil anything, but I will show you the shirt. And so I think that should give you a good enough hint to know what's happening and what's cracking. So. So that's about all the hints I'll give you on the shirt. So other than that, guys, let's unbox this uh, scope and stack that I got from HeadyLove.com. Alrighty, and let's get this going. All you're going to need is a Phillips head screwdriver, a really tiny one, to get the one bolt off of the nozzle. Other than that, everything's going to be plug and play. So let's get this going. Let's see what else is included. It's got all the bolts, everything you're going to need for it. Yeah, I'm a big fan of like brushed aluminum, brushed metal. Needs a really cool look. Big fan of it. Extra sticker. Thank you, Scope and Stack. And inside here, this is gonna be just the base. Very cool. So, oh yeah, so you can, it's CNC routed. Super, super high quality made. Feels great in the hand. Super, super heavy. So I think it just makes the whole torch feel that much more substantial. And it's already a big, heavy, heavy, big torch. So some people might not like the weight, but it makes it feel like a big shot. You really, so I'm gonna pull this into my lap so I can get a good snug fit on it. I wanna make sure that the logo is gonna be perfect with the nozzle. So I'm gonna actually twist it a little bit to the side. Awesome, fits like a glove. Nice and snug, super stable. Oh yeah. I mean, if you would have done that with the normal base, it would have just knocked right over. I mean, this definitely adds some heat, some serious girth and some, some weight to it, but that feels substantial. The brushed aluminum, even if you don't have a sleeve or anything on it, matches very well with the actual torch itself. They have every color that you'd need to match with all of the blazers as well as I've seen gray limited blazers coming out, so I'm pretty hyped on that. I don't think I would get it unless this one poops out on me, but hey, I don't think this one's doing any, is, is crapping out anytime soon. Alrighty, so now let's get on to the actual nozzle part. That's what actually gives people trouble, and that's why I figured I'd make this video, just so, just show you guys, bring you in, and show you the new accessories that I've added. Because anytime I can make a video and show you guys, bring y'all in, I'm a big fan of that, I'm gonna do just that. So actually, to my surprise, which is just fine with me as well, they've, maybe since the last time I researched them, they've switched it out to a tiny little Allen wrench. Or maybe that's what, what the bolt has always been, but you need the actual Phillips to get this part off. So let's go ahead and do that. Slide this guy off. And see, I mean, another reason I'm glad I kept it is even right now when I'm fiddling with the torch or anything, it doesn't accidentally turn on. So that safety lock is a big help. 
but it's so cool that it doesn't have an actual safety on the torch. So when you go and click it on, you don't actually have to hit a safety because it's a big shot, it's a big boy. Why do you need to hit a safety? So none of that stuff going on here, if I can get this off. So it's just free to turn on, so, which I love. Best torch in the game. Wouldn't use anything else, I don't think. Alrighty. So, what am I doing here? Here we go. Alright. So I'm interested to see what this looks like when I slide this off. Maybe that's what I'm not supposed to do. I'm not supposed to slide that off. So we're learning together, guys. Yeah, this doesn't slide off. This just slides on on top of it. Right, 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 right. Very cool. So you have to keep it lined up. See if I can zoom in and get a good angle for you guys. So, see in there, it lines up with the hole. So without moving it, you're gonna have to slide this one right over. While holding it there, replace it with the matching screw. Lots of concentration happening right now. Alrighty. I think I have made connection. Yes, I have. Cool. First try, everybody. And on camera, not too shabby. Yeah, I definitely can see how that could give people problems. You definitely have to finesse it. But once you pass that step, you are good to go. Wow. Yeah. Big fan. Going from the rubber to the actual brushed aluminum metal. Huge upgrade. Big, big upgrade. Going from the plastic to the metal. Big fan. Huge shout out to HeadyLove.com for hooking it up for your boy. Big things coming from them. Cannot wait. Huge chapters in my life and that's why I like to do my YouTube videos. Try to captivate, capture them, share them with you guys. So uh, other than that guys, anything that y'all want to see, definitely let me know down in the comments. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. We're going to grow this channel together and remember, never stop evolving. Master Glass.